47. Putting a stop to hoarding. You're at the mall one day and you see that pasta is on sale. You know you already have enough at home to last a month, but you can't resist buying more. So you make the purchase and add a few more boxes to an already overstuffed cupboard. This is called hoarding, and we all do it to a certain degree. Sometimes hoarding may be linked to a mental illness, such as obsessive-compulsive disorder, which causes a person to think something is far more valuable or useful than it actually is. Other people hoard obscene amounts of food, fuel, and water in preparation for an approaching catastrophic event. These people are known as preppers. The worst cases of hoarding occur when people keep stuff simply for the sake of keeping it. They clutter up entire households and create a giant fire hazard in the process. For these hoarders, professional therapy may be necessary to get them to part with all their old junk. For the rest of us, there are some simple ways to rid our homes of things we no longer need. First of all, don't rush in and start throwing things out left and right. This may lead to feelings of regret, and you might accidentally throw out something you really do need. Schedule a short amount of time for cleaning out your home each day, and work consistently until you're done. As you make progress, resist the temptation to put things aside. Make firm decisions about whether each item stays or goes. If you have collections of things, like books, keep a few cherished ones and give the rest to charity. Throw out or recycle what you can't give away. An uncluttered home is the best way to clear your mind and free yourself from the trap of having too much stuff. If you're a hoarder, pick a room and start cleaning up your life today.